Hi there, English 207 students. This is your professor, Michael Bloomingberg. I wanna take this opportunity to welcome you to our fall 2021 semester. And in particular, uh, to welcome you to our English 207 creative writing class. So the purpose of this video is to take some time to explore the course syllabus. Uh, the syllabus is always a great place to start in terms of understanding course expectations, how to contact me, grading skill, uh, things of that nature. So as you can see, I have it pulled up on the screen and I'm just gonna go ahead and click to enlarge it just a little bit so we can all see it better. Um, I'm not gonna go over every single aspect of the course syllabus, but I am gonna go over most of the information and uh, hopefully you'll find it helpful you might find it helpful to take notes as we go along um, if something stands out as far as uh, what seems to be particularly insightful information, feel free to jot that down. Um, so again, my name is Michael Bloomingberg and my title at Somerset Community College is technically um, Associate Professor of English. I don't really go by that title a whole lot most of my students just call me Mr. B or Mr. Bloomingberg. Um, you can see my contact information is listed right from the uh, beginning of the syllabus. I'm located at the Laurel campus of Somerset Community College, building room, uh, building one room 104, get that right in a second. And my office hours are fall 2021. Uh, our Monday, Wednesday, 9.15 a.m. to 2.15 p.m. My office number is also listed. You can feel free to call to reach me there during office hours. But really the best way to contact me if you have any questions, especially outside of office hours, is to email me. I do keep regular check of email and I will respond to uh, your email if you reach out that way. Now, the Chair of Humanities, Fine Arts, and Social Sciences at SCC is Dr. Mike Goldman. His information's on the syllabus, and our administrative assistant is Aaron Johnson. So um, I'm going to scroll down and talk a little bit about the class itself. Um, our class is a creative writing class, um, as you know, so we are focusing on academic writing, but it's a little bit different. It's, it's more in the creative realm where we're gonna have the opportunity to explore areas such as creative nonfiction, um, fiction, poetry, and then you'll get to work through a uh, piece of your own preference. And those are gonna be the major projects that will constitute the majority of your grade. Although we'll talk in a moment about the full assessment. Um, textbooks, there is a textbook required for the course. It is called Three Genres, The Writing of Literary Prose, Poems, and Plays by Stephen Monet and Diane Thiel, uh, ninth edition. I have included both versions of the ISBN um, in the syllabus. If you don't have that textbook yet, we're not going to be in the textbook during the first week of the semester, but we will be in the textbook beginning in week two. So this gives you a little bit more time to procure your textbook if you uh, still have the need to do so. Now, since it is fall 2021, I'm sure I don't have to say anything about the uh, fact that we're in a global pandemic still with COVID-19. Uh, there is a statement on the syllabus with respect to uh, Somerset Community College's uh, flexible need to meet those challenges that result from the uh, pandemic or any epidemics, disasters, things of that nature. Um, we are an online class, so if by chance everything uh, gets shift to a virtual learning environment, that's really not going to affect us at all because we already are a virtual learning environment. So, uh, but look at that. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, general education competencies are simply those competencies that you're going to find in all of your general education courses, whether it be math, science, English, 
uh, psychology, sociology, I could go on and on. Um, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time with those, but look those over because it does show the overlap in general education courses. Now, as far as our course competencies are concerned, and I skipped down just a little bit too far there, um, by completion of English 207 students can employ basic approaches to the art of creative writing, demonstrate an understanding of the subtitle theme in various literary works, use literary terminology in their analyses, and understand the relationship between the literature and the cultural historical context from which it springs. Um, with this in mind, we're going to talk about the grading criteria. This is the good stuff that you want to know more about, I know. Um, there are four primary projects in our class. You will be working to compose a piece of literary nonfiction, which is 20% of your grade, uh, short fiction, which is 20% of your grade, poetry, 20% of your grade. You will have a preference work. Uh, we'll talk more about these items as we uh, continue through the semester. That's 20% of your grade. Um, class assignments, which uh, could include things like uh, discussion board assignments, uh, planning work for the projects, 10%, and uh, attendance and participation, 10%. Really more participation, um, since we're an online class, you're not gonna be required to travel or, or go anywhere for, for our class. Um, 9200 is an A, 80 to 89 is B, 70 to 79 is a C, so on and so forth. If you have any questions about the grading scale, again, you're always welcome to reach out and let me know. Uh, first week's work, very important. Um, we at Somerset Community College are asked to do what's called no-show reporting. Uh, no-show is simply defined as any student who does not uh, engage in completing of assignments um, with respect to the deadlines during the first week of the um, semester. So it is imperative that you get started right away. There are two discussion board assignments this week. I'm gonna make a separate video to go over each one of those. Um, it won't be a very long video, but uh, I will go over those with you. You do need to complete both. And that'll, uh, your work there will ensure that you are successful in the class, and at least initially, and that you're not being reported as a no-show. All right, attendance and participation statement. Um, this, of course, is an online class, so there's no official statement regarding attendance. As I said before, students are not required to uh, come into any sort of classroom uh, or anything like that. However, you will be assessed a participation score each week uh, for a total of 16 weeks. And participation is awarded each week based upon factors such as the attitude that each student is exhibiting um, while meeting the learning opportunities of the class, as well as students meeting all the listed deadlines. Um, it'll become pretty apparent how that's going to work as we go. Um, but you'll get those posted for the previous week at the start of the new week because it's at that point that I have the opportunity to review your work. Uh, I'm going to skip ahead for the sake of time. Late assignment makeup policy. Uh, I'm going to be kind of quick about this. If you know that something is going on in your life, I, I just can't stress enough the importance of communication please reach out to me and let me know what's going on. That will help me work with you, uh, especially in light of the pandemic. If you, um, we hope this doesn't happen, of course, but if you or someone in your immediate family is diagnosed with COVID-19, um, please let me know if you're sick or things are going on. There's always ways in which we can work together but um, anyways, if you can let me know, I could try my best to work with you, but I do expect all stu students, uh, unless there is an extenuating circumstance, to meet the deadlines posted each week. 
Um, the withdrawal policy link is on the syllabus. It's a 16 week class. I hope that we don't lose anyone, but if for whatever reason you have to withdraw, please feel free to review that policy. Academic integrity. So all students are expected to complete their own work um, and to be academically honest. Now, being academically honest means that you're not cheating in any form or fashion, whether it be cheating on a test. Uh, biggest way you could cheat in our class is plagiarism. That's where you take someone else's words or ideas and pass them off as your own. So I've linked for you the code of conduct from SEC if you would like to uh, take some time to look that up. Accessibility office, um, bear with me, I'm gonna read this statement. Uh, SEC students with disabilities uh, requiring accommodations for English 207 must contact the SEC Disability Service Office. For us at Somerset Community College, it's Angela Swim and her information is down below. I'm gonna highlight that here. Uh, please note that all um, communication for accommodation must go through Angela Swim. Now, I know many of you are not SEC students. So if you are a student at a different KCTCS college, then I encourage you to contact the disability services at your home college. Um, in compliance with federal law, including the provisions of Title IX of the Educational Amendments in 1972 and uh, the Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990, SEC does not discriminate on the basis of race, sex, religion, color, national or ethnic origin, age, disability, or military services in its programs, activities, admission policies, scholarship, loan programs, athletic or other college administered programs or, or employment. Whew, thank you for letting me share that. Uh, <laughs> so if you have questions about it, um, contact the uh, either Angela Swim at SEC or your um, disability manager at your home college. SEC students, uh, procedures related to discrimination, harassment and sexual misconduct can be directed to Tracy Cassida and her information is presented on the syllabus. Also presented on the syllabus is some information related to academic and technical support. There are some links that you can look up in terms of getting tutoring assistance. Tutoring is offered for students free of charge. Um, there's also a different tutoring service that's also free of charge that I have embedded within our Blackboard shell called Smart Thinking. So be sure to check that out as well. Uh, there's also the link for Blackboard, um, not the link, but the number for Blackboard technical support, uh, which is 855-664-6722 with option four on that. So just some helpful information you might like. Uh, Starfish is a program we've been using for a long time now at Somerset Community College. Uh, at, at least a couple of times throughout the semester, I, as your professor, will be asked to complete a Starfish survey for each student in English 207. That survey will uh, note if there are any opportunities for growth or if you as a student are progressing well, you'll get something called a kudo. Those uh, surveys are sent only to you and your academic advisor. So I'll try to let you know ahead of time when those surveys come in so you can know to be on the lookout for those. SNAP stands for Safety Notification Alert Process. And um, if you haven't signed up for it, there's a link to enroll. If you um, have a, a smartphone, for example, and you do texting. Um, if there are any cancellations or delays due to weather, power outages, or anything unexpected happening on campus, you will get that alert sent to your phone. And it just, it's a great communication tool that really comes in handy. Uh, KCTCS, SEC, tobacco policy, 
tobacco free if you're on campus. So just be aware of that. We're online though. Okay, we've come to the end. Awesome. Uh, course outline. I noted that that is presented to you um, in Blackboard in the same area where you're finding the syllabus. Now I'm going to stop share because I actually have this uh, already pulled up as a separate uh, document. So I just wanted to pull this up and I'll expand this so that we can zoom it in so we can see it a little bit better. This is a very vague outline because um, this is sort of my pilot of the course. I haven't actually taught English 207 before, so I'm very excited about it. So I just wanted to make sort of some vague module deadlines. We're going to work through five modules. And um, I just kind of put some due dates uh, in terms of when uh, each module will be completed and when you'll be uh, working through the theme of the next module. So you'll see that module one is introduction to creative writing. We're just gonna do some work uh, that's gonna kind of guide you into what creative writing is all about. And um, we'll, there, again, there's a separate video in the week one area of module one that'll go into this week's work. But uh, we're looking at due dates of August 29th for module one. September 26th for module two, October 31st, Halloween uh, for the uh, module three area of fiction, module four poetry due date will be November 28th. And then your preferenced work uh, will be December 9th. You'll see that's a quicker turnaround time, but we'll talk about why that is as we go further along in class. Now our class does operate on a week by week basis. So, um, You'll get a new weekly folder within the designated module um, on Monday, uh, usually Monday mornings, and then that's going to close up um, or you'll wrap it up Sunday night. And that's sort of how we're going to measure each uh, week within um, the module. All right. Awesome. Well, listen, um, I want to kind of go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, this was the English 207 syllabus and outline. Please look over both. Hopefully you found this video helpful. There's one more video to check out, but that's in module one, the week one uh, folder within module one. Check that out as I'll go over both uh, discussion board assignments for week one. I look forward to working with you, super excited. Uh, if I can help you at all, feel free to email me, uh, but take care, have a great first week and uh, let, let's do this. Super excited about the class, take care and uh, have a good week.